Hello. You're uh, welcome to another uh, racing stream. Today we've got the ASCC West Series, round number four, from the Rainier Raceway up in Puyallup, Washington. And, uh, and the track has been a bit rainier than the teams were anticipating. Big downpour here on race day, but we've got 17 cars, a very, very healthy field lined up to take the start anyway. I'm surprised really they had a uh, surprise. They gave enough of a sh they uh, gave enough of a shit to have a um, tire that could run and that, that could run. But well, Liberty Tires is owned by Duck Roll. They do make rain tires, and they've brought them to the track. So we're gonna get going. And as always, I am joined by the uh, EFR Discord off color commentators. How's everybody doing? Woo! Grumpy. <laughs> Grumpy and pissy today, so there you go. <laughs> Tired, well, but I'm soldiering on. I'm sorry to hear. Hopefully the ASCC West Field will give us some much-needed entertainment today, especially not, in the rain. You're not sorry. You didn't do it. Here's our starting lineup. Points leader Tiffany Matthews is uh, on top, uh, five hundredths of a second ahead of Lou Singer Jr., Let's actually pull up our point standings coming into this race. So again, Matthews is our points leader by three over Logan Snyder, who took his first win of the season at Stockton last week. Uh, he and Don Wilson have both qualified for the playoffs on wins. Then we got Lou Singer Jr., the aff aforementioned Wilson and Mary Jane Bakerman rounding out the top five. Mitchell Carter, defending series champion, is sixth. Uh, Alex Vincent still hanging on to the seventh spot, even though I don't think we're going to see him again anytime soon. He ha he well, he had a one-off victory and uh, not too many opportunities after that. Then we got Carrie Fenton, Zeke Dallitz, and Zachary Zins rounding out the top ten. And towards the bottom of the top 20 are a whole bunch of FARC drivers from... Uh, the combination race at ABQ, which was won by Alex Vincent. Drivers, start your engines! We're going to go 35 laps, just a smidge over 100 miles here at Rainier Raceway. Uh, we, as always in the series, we will get a competition at the halfway point, so at or near lap 17 in the top three, we'll get points. I want to see that damn groundhog. The rabbit. Bitch, whatever. I'm sorry, I love you. No, it is not whatever. It is a fucking rabbit, I think. <laughs> And as how that rabbit works, it's basically just a, uh, a 3D, um, flat 3D surface that, uh, runs on a path just like a helicopter or a blimp. Yeah. So, Tiffany Matthews and Lou Singer Jr. making up our first row. Row 2 is Carrie Fenton and Tegan Fox. Row 3, Duke Crosby and Echo River, and there's the green flag. the breaking point is in the rain. Well, these guys are going to figure that out pretty quickly. For better or worse. The good news is if Tiff blows it, she won't have much she won't have much to worry about in terms of taking anybody else out at the moment. Uh, they just pass where the rabbit usually is, by the way. I think if the leader blows it, everyone will use her as a gauge and <laughs> follow and her. And not do that, yeah. Follow her into the wall. Lenny Pratt and the number four Lennard had an impressive uh, midfield qualifying effort, but is quickly dropped to the back. Oh, I hear Lenny spinning. Pratt. Oh, and that's John Farnicle upside down. We're off to a great start. <laughs> oh my. Skill issue. Yep. That was a skill issue. John Farnicle, is, uh... John Farnicle and many, many others coming together to form a parking lot down in the chicane. I've said this before, but Farnicle sounds dirty. 
Sounds like barnacle. And that's how it started, just and that's round, how awesome. it finished. Yeah. <laughs> we are stacking them up. Yeah, I think this track was at one point. Uh, I want to say it was on the short list to make it to get a Master Cup race, but I, th I think it's pretty easy to see why it didn't. And Carrie Fenton just ahead of this spun all by herself. See, Mind you, you, this would have been in like 2008. See, did you uh, redraw the LPs for this? I did redraw the min and max LPs about okay. a half hour ago. Oh. And this is still lap one, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Fresh. Um. What happened? Well, that's Emily Hawkins. Oh, oh there's a yellow. Going off the road. We have a yellow? Yes. Oh, that's right. This is ASCC. They use cautions on road courses. I think the attrition rate's going to be, um... Hi! Quite astronomical. High. I was going to say astronomical. So who's left? Tiffany Matthews took a caution in first place. Lou Singer Jr. in second. So same as how we started. MJ Bakerman in third. Oh, Allie Riggs uh, still crossed the line in fourth despite what just happened to her. Mitchell Carter is fifth. I don't think that's going to... Uh, I don't think that's going to remain the way it is. That front end's all smashed up. Echo River sixth. Don Wilson seventh. Laura Cyrus in eighth. Emily Hawkins and Carrie Fenton uh, recovering to round out the top 10. John Farnicle drove away from that. He's coming down pit road. That was a pretty lazy roll. I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed in the race. It's the 03 Conoco, owned by Truman Ellison, with uh, Janet Airlines sponsoring that car, and the crew is going to go to work on that. Did someone just spin? Yeah, they did. Whee! Mitchell Carter and Echo River having trouble getting through the, the chicane behind the pace car. Yeah, a little synchronized spinning never hurt anybody. Look out. <laughs> Of those other some other shit for a junkyard um that's i can maybe throw your way in the bed nice thank you i took a look at what you just sent me already a lot of that stuff a lot of like those cargo boxes were done a long time ago and they i just added um lod triggers to some of them just just to for uh because zone seven has so much shit on it as it is i wanted just to I had LODs on those crates are normally pointless because there's there's just so few of them, but or so few vert, verts to them. But that's mostly I'm I'm trying to just avoid some problems uh, later uh, with just too much shit on the screen, uh, too many objects visible. So I'm like, I'll just call the uh, the smallest stuff, the stuff that you're gonna barely see from like 200 feet away. All right. So, yeah, there are LODs on them, but they're pointless. So, they are dynamically lit, though, so that eh, kind of just means they're intent. I mean, mostly just means they're intended for night tracks, but if you do put them on a day track and there's something weird going on, yeah, it's real easy to fix that. Just rerun with uh, the D trigger off or D flag off.
I'm getting the shit that I'm getting is some more like garbage piles and um, uh, like wrecked cars. Thank wrecked, you. Wrecked cars. Thank you, Vice City. Actually, no, no thank you. Fuck you, Rockstar. <laughs> well, Mitchell Carter just dropped out. Not surprised there. Tiffany Matthews is the first one out of the pits. Zachary Zins coming out second. Did you say that the race is rainy because of those, um... Spin ings. Because it's very geographically appropriate anyway. Yeah. Let's see, Zachary Zins just took fuel and did a little bit of damage repair. Fuel only for Tiffany Matthews. Uh, Laura Cyrus and Don Wilson changed all their tires, as did Lou Singer Jr. Echo River. Uh, Emily Hawkins changed left sides. Lenny Pratt got, got the whole works. Uh, the 03, apparently they didn't have any damage to repair after that car rolled over. Well, good for them. Forgive me for being dumb, but what what um, I and I does the uh, debug text go in? The Pappy AI file. Okay. Yep. Although if you use the uh, Malin ZXE, it's that those lines aren't even necessary to add to it. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a Mal any of Malin ZXEs, you don't need to do that. Okay, because I think I I think I use that. But I didn't see any, I didn't see the uh, stuff in there last night when I was admitting ours, oh. so I'm gonna put it in. Oh, okay. Just in case. Right, your new top five is gonna be Tiffany Matthews, Zachary Zins, MJ Bakerman. Uh, Lou Singer Jr. and Duke Crosby coming to this restart. I have to believe that Zachary Zins is looking at the 16 and be like, and on his radio screaming, I told you she wasn't dead! <laughs> I told you! Nobody listens to me! God damn it! <laughs> Problem. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of justification or whatever that wacko conspiracy nuts would do. Never mind that the name is totally different, and she's half the original Tiffany Matthews to Sage. Now, let's not even talk about that. Alex Jones mistook, uh, like, knew the, knew the names of all the 9-11 hijackers and somehow didn't realize that there could be two people with the same name. Especially in um, when you have Arabic-speaking like, be... countries. Well, yeah, or just anywhere where you have, like, a guy with a generic as fuck name where he's from, so. Yeah. Like, oh, I wow. Mean, how many... Oh, I mean, wow. how many John how... Smiths are there in the world? Yeah, and yeah, and you know what? There's another famous person named Alex Jones who's a TV personality mm -hmm. in Australia. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, that explains everything. I'm running through the profiler, and the profiler is... Let's see. Hmm. Oh, 42 spun. Five decided to join in. The 98 was just rubbernecking, I guess.
Well, what happened there? That happened. Oof. Ouch. 42 had his 42 is a, um, just going in too hard. The edibles kicked in. Hmm. So in the sand trap. Oh, that's uh, that's what happened. Oh, hmm. Lit off the wall and then. Hello. Duke Crosby trying to visit all the sand traps in today's race. He's off to a good start. Not the start he wanted to be on, but. He's sightseeing. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. It's like the heavy rain obscuring the environment. <laughs> Zeke Dalitz, where were you? River also went off back there. Ooh, that curb. A whole bunch of people went off. Yep. Oh, uh, by the way, Siege, hi. <laughs> Hello. Where are we racing today? This is the ASCC West Series, round number four at Rainier Raceway. Also, it is uh, very rainy. And foggy, too. Like, there's going to be poor visibility. Ah, uh, they can handle it. I wonder if you can... Uh, I wonder if the... Uh reason that the horizon looks the way it does is because that it's not it, if you can fix that just by having it adhere to dynamic lighting Duke Crosby and John Farnicle are coming back out Far, Mitchell Carter is the only casualty of the day. And that wasn't even the car that went upside down. Who holds that distinction? Farnacle. Ah. Uh, yeah, three in the opening lap. Anyone just joining us? Uh, missed the start. Don't worry. This is being recorded for you to later. We got some takers on pit road. Logan Snyder is leading them in. Hawkins, Zeke Dallitz, and Echo River are also coming in. They all went off the road. I'm just going to accelerate a bit. Uh, Mr. Rossetti tells me that I'm not supposed to do this, 
but we're doing it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rossetti. How would that be for an NR mod? <laughs> Every time you accelerate. That would, that would actually not be too bad of an idea. It'd be a it'd be a good meme. Yeah, but that would probably piss off the big ends lawyers and we don't want that. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> um, <laughs> I believe Bear. that was in my face. Leave it to Cooper to say something like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Did you say? They can go fuck themselves. I said I'm stuff. I'm stuffing my face. Yeah. Oh, that's why. I'm referring. I'm referring to the big ends lawyers. Just so. Just so that we're clear about that again. They can go fuck themselves. And that is the nicest thing I can say about them. Rusty drill bit, pee hole. You do the math. Fill in the blanks. Mm hmm Stuff coming a weekend would have been one year since I went to Dover. That was a fun weekend. Nice. Alright, getting set for the restart. Can we get more than one lap of green in? Probably not. Tiffany Matthews, Lou Singer Jr., Zachary Zins, Allie Riggs, and Laura Cyrus are your top five. Green flag. Good jump for Singer. A good jump for Allie Riggs. Yeah, three wide back here. And third place are off. Allie Riggs takes over the lead. Damn it. Here, I think it's going to get stuck in the gravel, it looks like. Oh, there's. Yeah, and everybody's up. backing up behind it. Yeah, the 16 stuck. 11 Shit. stuck. Can't have nice things. Wonder when the uh, ASCC is going to call gonna call for rain or whatever. No caution yet. Yeah, no yeah, caution. 16, the 16 the just 16 got a got toe. Towed. Uh, that's that's at least three laps. Oh, Zins, Zins is, is off. off man. Oh, everybody's off. Nobody wants to win. The, nobody wants to lead this race. Big deal, Ryan. I have ten toes. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh. God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> All right, coming to Anyways, the end Allie of the Riggs lap. Yeah. We are still green. No, wait, no, we're not. Not anymore. Caution's out. Yeah, caution's out. I was gonna say, Nikki. Um. Is there something you want to tell the class and Paul Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> I, Paul I thought Tracy. you were gonna say stop taking. Uh, stop taking cues from Dave. You said it. I didn't. <laughs> Allie Riggs is the new leader, followed by Emily Hawkins, Echo River, John Farnicle, and Don Wilson. I may remind you, that 03 was upside down on the opening lap. That's right, it was. Yeah, out of the gnat, there's like, like little to no cosmetic damage in the 03 just by flipping over. And more got tipped over. Yay, American Steel, even though these cars are pretty much made of plastic. I don't think they're... Oh, I was just trying to be funny there. It's... No, I was trying to think, like, I don't think that's... I don't think that's, like... Hang on. 
Whatever the hell here. composite is made of. Like, yeah, plastic. it's composite. Yeah, it's composite, so it's made out of, like, a bunch of different things, but I was, I was thinking, like, right now. Probably plastic, fiberglass, whatever. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah. I, I was thinking, I don't know if oh. I'm not, like, 100% sure <laughs> the material made thin. up of fiberglass. Oh, there they go but... again. Oh, they're oh. gonna get stuck. This is... Good job. Because I was, I was just thinking, I'm not 100% sure the, the chemical makeup of fiberglass. Uh, that's the, not my um, area of expertise, I'm afraid. Is the 16 still in a tow? Yeah, I think she will be. Oh, look at it this way. She may lose a lap or two, but she'll probably get it back and see nobody else can stay on the track. That's kind of what I was thinking. Is the river from Washington? Um, I believe so. Oh, shoot. Uh, be right back. The wiki has to say. People think I don't read the wiki before making videos. Including the pages that I need to update, but, like, can't felt like I have too much going on to do. Oh, it doesn't say. Looks like Matthews is going to avoid going lap down. Oh, yay! Do the compound skill issue. River will be leading the takers onto pit road. Average speed of this race is pretty much just going to be 40 miles an hour if we keep getting cautions, if we can't go green for more than Most a lap. Most likely. Cars off, Allie Riggs leads over Emily Hawkins, John Farnicle, Don Wilson, and Tegan Fox. Coming to lap number 10. to the green. Tiffany Matt 
Matthews already making some moves. Zeke Dallitz very helpfully moving himself out of the way. Very nice of him. Oh, this is going to be the trouble spot right here. Oh, there 55's off. Is it just him? Or just her, sorry. Nope, two of them. Yeah, Lenny Pratt also off. Zachary and Zins. Zins. Fun. But at least it didn't become a parking lot this time. So, green. Yeah. Barnacle's off. Ooh, lots of damage to the O3. What happened there? Um, If I had to guess, he ran into the back of, uh, who was it? Somebody. 88. Big nope. Up. Back into this. Ran into the back of the 16. Yeah, and he would have gotten pushed into her even if he uh, didn't. Yeah, that was going to end one way. Zin's yeah, really Zin's, backed that up. Zin's kind of checked everybody up. And then spins. Yeah, just get out of Laura Cyrus's wrath. More like Zachary spins. <laughs> I get it. What would Laura Cyrus's wrath look like? Would put you in a uh, put you in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, probably. Sponsor. Well, I mean, considering the sponsor, kind of. Mm. Oh. Oh, carry fence around Hawkins. Eesh. Everybody gets by. Cautions out. That's heading to the pit. Did she just cut him off or get run over? I can't tell from this angle. Um, I think she was a clear loose Singer Jr. right there. Well, I don't know if she moved down or if Singer ran wide. Um, I think because they were reacting to the 98, I think they might have been reacting to Wilson going off. Ah, uh, the 11 just had too big of a run, and the 88 cut, cut him off. I think she was already committed to turning in, but... Yeah, but the 11 had such a run that... I guess Hawkins didn't pay attention. She was already turning in. <laughs> yeah, but... I think she didn't anticipate the 11 with that huge head of steam. John Farnicle's out. Allie Riggs is still the leader. Tiffany Matthews is all the way up to second place as we come back to the caution. Let's go! And it's Lou Singer Jr., MJ Baker, Duke Crosby, and Echo River. Fourth would have been Don Wilson, but he spun out. Wow. Oh. Oh dear. Good job. Uh, I looked away at the wrong time. Oh, I just come back to do it again. I wasn't Dallas looking. and Don Wilson. <laughs> bonk. <laughs> <laughs> and then bonk. Oh my. Wow. Oh, violent. Driver's side impact. For as fast as the '98 car was going, the '19 was doing like double that. <laughs> yeah. Alex did not even use the brake pedal. Gooby, what are Brax? Something communists use. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't care already won. Also, hello everyone. Hi. Hello. I was listening to the whole thing on the in my car on the way home. 
Are you motorsports entertained by this fine display? <laughs> no, because I couldn't watch anything. I was only listening, I said. Also, Mole, the four car is still running. Yeah, that's... He, he's being rewarded by being too slow to crash hard. Uh, no Gene Rick racing entry in this race? Nah, they only race in California. Ah. Uh, I should probably send you a couple of those generic uh, cars I made a while back. Or did I send you those? For, like, filler for a few races. I'm not sure. But Allie Riggs uh, is going to hand the lead over to Tiffany Matthews. Several other cars coming in. Oh, Tegan Fox is back on track. I think I'll give her the wave around. Tiffany Matthews back up front, followed by MJ Bakerman, Logan Snyder, Laura Cyrus. Uh, Allie Riggs was the first one to hit the pit lane. She will come out in fifth place. Then it's Lenny Pratt, Lou Singer Jr., Echo River, Duke Crosby, Zachary Zins, and Emily Hawkins. Here come Carrie Fenton and Tegan Fox to join the back of the line. 13 of the 17 starters are still in. Riggs looking for third. Can't get it done. Lenny Pratt and T. Fox just went off the road. Allie Riggs and Lou Singer are off, as well as Emily Hawkins. Carrie Fenton, Zachary Zins, and Echo River. Oh, hello, Tegan Fox. This race is giving me late NOLA IndyCar vibes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was a thing. Unfortunately. <laughs> Because Bobby Jindal wanted to be relevant, and now I reminded all of you that that son of a bitch existed, exists. Yeah, sorry. Not to say existed, but, like, he's still alive, I think, so. They ran the race, were like, oops, and didn't come back. <laughs> I talked to people who had worked um, San Jose in 05-06, um, uh, and, uh, and NOLA, and they said NOLA was infinitely worse. Oh, jeez. That's enough. That's very bad. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it? It's just really a. Isn't Nola like more or less a glorified track day track? Uh, yeah. That's being nice. Honestly, that the layout was fine, but everything else about that entire race. <laughs> Oh, 
I go upstairs for a second and the entire field just spins off. That's kind of been what it's like all day. Yeah, like that's... Are cars with toes losing laps or not? No. Okay. No, because Tiffany Matthews was towed and she did not lose a lap. Okay. I can't speak to anyone else because I don't know, but I do. That's what we saw. So that's what I I'm going by what we saw. I think that's how Tegan Fox lost a lap. Yeah, but I think Fox was further back from the rest of the field when they got Tiffany towed. Tiffany Matthews left the pits, right? Yeah. So you could say she drove away. God damn it. <laughs> I will summon him. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Ryan, I've got an even worse idea for a PCC Cup Cleveland one off. No. What is it? Matthew Tiffany driving a Matthews Aspira and is sponsored by the old VHS series, and they walked away. <laughs> oh my I hate God. it. Here I thought my idea of a one-off for Cleveland, Monocle Gentle, sir, was a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a perfectly Cleveland idea to run like the most shit postiest driver you got. Well, well, actually, here's the thing. That idea, Monocle Gentle, sir, is actually from a Vanoss video. Who? Courtesy of Dahi Denogla. I have no idea who the fuck that is. The gaming YouTubers I watch almost every day. Oh. oh. Alright, one lap shootout to the halfway competition caution. Oh no, they're still throwing a competition yellow. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why, but... The SCC. Hey, we've got a lap to do it. They can last... I mean, they would've just time. wrecked... They would've just wrecked on and uh, brought out a caution anyway. That's... Well, really... now... Well, this time we don't have to pressure the drivers to do it. Top three get points at the end of this lap. Half of them wreck and somehow Lenny Pratt gets points. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Whoever makes it back first. Oh, oh again. She might get going this time. Oh, look out. Baker right in front of the field. I think she did. Trying new. She's gonna get towed oh. again. You will be towed. No, Let's she might trying. make it. Hold it. Bye. She's got it. Yes. But Success. can she can she keep it on the road back to the line? I That's, think so. Uh... Oh, Lenny Pratt can't. Oh, hi. Crunch. <laughs> oh, Cyrus is off. Great. I don't think she. I don't think Tiffany needs to worry about keeping the car on the road. I think she, everybody else needs to worry about keeping their cars on the road. Sager Jr. is going to get the stage win. Yep, Lou Singer Jr., leader at halfway, followed by Duke Crosby. He did battle for third. Hornet's Nest. Hawkins is gonna get it. Yes, it is Hawkins.
Jerry Fenton's got some front end damage. That's why. Hello, teammate. Hi, cousin. <laughs> let's go bowling. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Cozy, let's go bowling. <laughs> you have to say that with a Russian accent. Oh, Cozy, let's go bowling. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that was I've heard a lot that. of Russian. That didn't sound like Russian. Cozy, we should go bowling. <laughs> Sounds like you're... <laughs> I well, I was going to say, to be fair... Uh, they weren't even Russian, they were, uh, Serbs, I think, right? Hey, Doesn't sound Serbian. To... Eastern uh, European no, but all just pretty saying... much sound the same. And not Gale. really. Well, uh, no. Not really. I, I, I tried to replicate it, but okay. Idiots are still wrecking. <laughs> oh, they can't even make it. Yeah, they can't they even. They can't make even it make it, it to pit road. <laughs> That's just how <sighs> waterlogged this track is. But they we're even still on going. Rain tires. That really has nothing to do with how shit the tires are. Are they even on rain tires? Shh. Um. Let me head down to the Liberty truck, and I will get back to you on that. <laughs> oh. If they even have the right compound, but okay. The Liberty trucks appear to have departed the premises early for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> they appear to have called any, any accusations that they dropped the ball as fake commie bullshit news. <laughs> <laughs> Duke Crosby, yeah. Tegan Fox, and Echo River stay out. Lou Singer Jr. is the first one out. I mean, if we're blaming tires, forget Nola, let's talk in D08. I know apples to oranges, but. Bitch, whatever. Apple to oranges. All right, coming to the green. Sixteen laps to go. Malone Motorsports 1-2 on the restart. Just got word from race control. We are lap we are racing the lap 25. Even race controls had enough of this. Tegan Fox, um, passed up by the Cottenham cars. Oh, she gives boink, a boink. bump oh, to them. Oh, that's it. And here we go. There they go. Everyone for fifth on back is off. I wouldn't say everyone. They get it going. Except for Lenny Pratt, because he lagged back in the restart, but. Vins, Bakerman. Yeah, still no caution. Good. River. Tiffany oh, Matthews Tiffany, got, a bit, got, the got a bit of damage. Yeah, she oh, got. Cottonum oh, cars. There goes the Cottonum cars. Lol! Corn. Derp, 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 derp. It's derp, just derp, 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 der
corn does not grow well in sand. No. It's just corn fusing. Many people are saying this. <laughs> I know, folks. Everybody else. Greg, Cyrus. The Fark veterans that ought to know. Ought to know what to do. Oh, Crosby's. Oh, we get speared by Fenton. I was going to say, I want to see an onboard from the four, but I realize that team's too poor to afford an onboard camera. Matthew's into the pit. <laughs> I think Tegan Fox is the leader, and we've got a caution. Again. A caution's now out. I also have a feeling that someone may have just... That someone knit called uh, the broadcast or the series just provided one for them. Uh... How did Tiffany get that damage? She was in that little shamazzle over here. You know what I miss about the fucking 80s and shit? Like the 80s NASCAR broadcast that I've watched? Is that like, We're... often, oftentimes with the, not only did they, not only were they better at treating people like adults, something that Fox has never been able to do successfully, even though rose colored glasses make people think otherwise. Um, they would always put like an onboard camera on someone that would run like 20th just to catch all the wrecks. That's why like Phil Parsons or whatever always had a fucking onboard seemingly. Yeah. Just so that they, sure. it, like, they could catch anyone that sucks, just like, anyone <laughs> just having a bad day, just having a, just walling it for no reason. I remember watching a, like, highlight reel of the 1955 Southern 500. They wailed on this poor guy in a 10 car for, <laughs> I don't know what reason. Who was he? Some guy called, uh, Van Van Way. He wrecked multiple times, but like still. Oh it's yeah. Darlington. It's Darlington. He had a cool name, so. It's Darlington in the 1950s. Everyone was driving like shit. Yeah, yeah because like the cars that. were held together with duct tape and hope. I mean, especially yeah. all the. It usually just duct tape. 56, 500. I mean, Southern 556 was. Thing. Had the first guy drop it out of the race, but they have arted mounts. Oh my. Who went on winning that race? Curtis Turner. All I vaguely remember from that race when I watched it was like car car's fuel tank had fallen off the car and someone ran over it and split the fuel tank and was racing up towards the car. That still, one guy who hit the wall and flew down the embankment in turn one. Still, nobody has uh, fallen a lap down and nobody else has dropped out. Well, one lap to green. Out. The series, the series will then the series will then tack um, a number of cars on the lead lap and think it's a legitimate stat. Nope. News flash, it is not. <laughs> Newsflash, it is not, and people who use that to tell you how good modern races are are full of shit. Right, on this restart, oh, uh, yeah, last restart, uh, we're either racing to lap 25 or the next flag. Next flag it is. Tegan Fox God. is the leader for Mike Malone Motorsports, one of uh, two rookies for that team this season. Her teammate is Duke Crosby, who is lined up in sixth. Uh, neither of them have won in the series yet. Second place is Emily Hawkins for Jones Sport. They've been around for a while, looking to get back to victory lane. Lenny, Pl Lenny, Lenny Pratt has lined up in third place. I don't think he's got third place speed, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens with him. MJ Bakerman is fourth. Uh, for the Get Baked Racing Team in a technical alliance with Accelerator Motorsport. Oh, Lenny Pratt doesn't have third place speed? I'm sorry, where is he right now? He's in third place. And yeah, the exactly. Top, it's been off, exactly. and he does it, and the caution exactly. comes down. He's got this. 
the back. Check the scoreboard, and is what I'm saying. <laughs> Check the scoreboard. I'm up in third. Don't look yeah. twice. And back up into fifth is Tiffany Matthews, our pole sitter. Well, that four car is about to get swallowed, though. We'll see. I mean, yeah, but what could also happen is other people just run out of talent trying to pass him. Yeah. We'll spin or on he runs out of talent. That doesn't spin. Yeah, or he runs out of talent. Here we go. Yeah. Big Three jump from everything. everything. Oh, Crosby oh, is like, boy. gets the just throw a block. And oh, Brock boy. Five. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is going to be. Oh, block. I get to do the funny. Ears are going to be shed. Tips up the third. Floor. There's go. Slidey in the back. Uh, Pratt's falling back. Oh, Crosby's oh, five, Crosby's off. off. Five of the 55 have gone off. Not 55. I'm actually eight. surprised that I'm surprised that the four is as much damage as he did. I thought that he'd be able to defend a little better than that. Matthews is, is up to second with no day. hood. And oh, she no. bid it. That's gonna be a friggin' costume. everybody. And she's stuck again. Kerry Fenton up to second. Wow. This might, be, this might be the race right here. Nope, no caution. Blew the breaking point. Well done. How many spots did the four gain from that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh, oh no. Oop. Oh, that's a hard. That was a hard check. That was rude. Very Where are rude. you going? You're bad. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Was that Caution Snyder? Out. Yeah, that's 55's gonna win the race. Tegan Fox is going to keep it on the road. So, yeah, why? That's a frowny face. Why are they driving through the grass on the inside of that one corner? Skill issue. They went wide on the corner before. See previous statement. Okay. So Tegan Fox is going to win this race. Uh, Kerry Fenton is second. Allie Riggs third. Logan Snyder fourth. And I think Lenny Pratt's going to get fifth. <laughs> How? Wow. Lol. Have you ever? Well, a couple of times. Sigh. Well, I'll say it again. Never, never have I ever thought a slow car would survive carnage. Finish fifth. Ye of little faith. Happens little more than you that think. Could. Yep. Little team that could. Lenny Pratt gets a top five. Sometimes you don't need to be good. You just have to be less bad. Or lucky, in this case. So what happened to the 16? Did it get towed again? Yeah, it looks like it. Good lord. Still She's going to DNF. Top dead out of it. Are you just going to let it run to lap 25 still? I'm going to export it when all the, craw when all the cars cross. Cyrus didn't even Cyrus use whatever that happens to be. Yeah, Cyrus just didn't use the brake pedal. Uh, not like it's going to make a huge amount of difference. Not in wet grass. Here's the thing. He gets stuck. Zins, Zins kind of gets out. Allie Riggs uses the intimidate button. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Is there any chance I can see the uh, first wreck? Sure. I meant not now. You gotta wait. For, I meant wait for the uh, race to finish. But if you want, that's fine. So here's what happened on the opening lap. A 
so these cameras suck. Some of them aren't too bad, honestly. There's some good, there's some good uh, zooms on a couple of them. We. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a lot of shit ones. Oh, that's... I think I forgot to put it as West. Oh, right. I also thought you were going to wait another lap, but that's fine. All right, and here are the official results. Tegan Fox takes her first ASCC West Series victory, first series victory for Mike Malone Motorsports as well. Uh, then it's Kerry Fenton, Allie Riggs, Logan Snyder, and Lenny Pratt rounding up the top five. Uh, MJ Bakerman was the only other car to come across the line. Then Emily Hawkins, Tiffany Matthews, Duke Crosby, and Lou Singer Jr. round out the top ten. The remaining finishers are Zachary Zins, Laura Cyrus, and Echo River. Tegan Fox punches her ticket to the playoffs with this one. And that'll that'll do it. Uh, thank you all for joining me. This recording will be up on YouTube later. That sure was a race, if you yeah. can call it that. Yeah, that was a race for sure. <laughs> Burp. Right, thank you all for joining me. You have a good night.